wasn't a good sign. Bro, look, bro. I've had my fair share of fucking. Today's video is sponsored by Atlas VP. You moaned? Imagine someone sticks. You, do, you get it. First of all, the restaurant is always vibes, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm, I feel so bad for y'all niggas that don't like sushi, but like half of y'all in the chat, every time I do a poll, it's always like 50 50 or 54 40. Like, you know what I'm saying? 54 46 on some shit. Y'all don't like sushi for real. And I feel bad for you because you're not, you're not tasting the right. Like, bro, that shit good as fuck, bro. That shit good as fuck. Like, I don't understand what can't you not like about sushi. Like, what do you not like about sushi? Yeah. In the core, and the service is usually one step up in quality. Not as nice as like a five star Brazilian steakhouse. I'm allergic to, imagine like being allergic to food, bro. Fume. You <laughs> feel a little bougie in like a nice sushi restaurant, bro. And the price definitely reflects. Y'all really allergic to food, bro. All I really have to do is in your sleep, like shove that food in your mouth, have you swallow it, and like you're like GG's. It's like GG's. You are so vulnerable. It's like GG's. It's up. Imagine being alert. Oh my god, niggas that have peanut allergy. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, you a nerd for real, bro. Like you just born a nerd on some shit. Motherfuckers with peanut allergies and shit. <laughs> Oh fuck! Okay, this is not a cheap <laughs> date night. You gotta be ready to break off some bread, and you gotta leave a tip, bro. It, it just have some class. Just try to look Jetta, like don't you, gotta you at that least, allergy? you know. That's why you're not partner. Yeah, fuck you. Something about you, man. You gotta leave a good tip. But don't get me wrong, okay? This is not a first date kind of restaurant. This is like a a nice little reward for. Good behavior, mm -hmm. shorty's part. You know, you don't. Whoa, that bitch busty. What the? No. Get sushi. She got to work her way up to that. You know what I mean? Start small. You know, chilies, pizza, wings, and you work your way up to sushi, or else you're gonna set the bar too high. Paul, too yeah. early. Next thing you know, I might get stuffy. Birkins for Valentine. Or some shit. That if there's hella like dust move. around me and shit. So right before the summer of 2020, last year, this was right before things got <laughs> narrow. Thank for the 20 gifts. This cute little ting ting slid into my DM. Jesus. You know what I mean? Shorty was from Houston. She Jesus. caught my attention. So we strike up a little hey, conversation. That's... Next thing you know. Hey chat, you, know, you be fucking with the bitches? In the H, I should pay her a visit. Well, fast forward like a month and a half, two of my best friends, <laughs> no sir, known as 340 Yori, rappers and now YouTube animators, made the move from Florida to Houston. They used to live with me in Austin. See, look, Florida, on oh, no, the states that matter, Florida, Texas, Cali, New York, like somewhere right here in it. Uh, what else matters? Georgia matters just because of ATO. Some shit, you know what I'm saying? What else matters, Shaq? What other state matters? What other state matters? Chicago. No, no cap. Chicago. Jersey. Yeah, Jersey cool. Jer Jersey cool. Jersey somewhere out of her. Some shit, you know what I'm saying? Nevada. Oh, yeah, Nevada. Nevada cool. Just Nevada gets carried by Las Vegas, bro. Nevada gets carried, bro. Delaware. <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga in my chest said Delaware. <laughs> Idaho, my nigga, y'all grown fuck, y'all grow corn, bro. Like y'all are known for corn or some shit. Y'all grow fucking potatoes and shit. <laughs> Minnesota, y'all niggas have like 60,000 people in that state, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. Please. Oh, hold on. How many people live in Minnesota, bro? 5.5 5 million people. Let's see how much my, how many people my county has. How many people in Broward County? Broward has 2 million alone and just this count. How many, how many people does Dade have in Dade County? Dade has two point. Bruh. How many people live in New York? How many people in New York? 
Oh shit. How many people in New York is that? Nine million. How many people in Florida? Jesus! <laughs> New York State is nineteen million by state. Texas twenty nine mil. Yeah. Yeah, Michigan, 9.9. .9. Uh, that's not bad for a state that you want to get the fuck out of. You know what I'm saying? Michigan, the state you rappers rap about making it out. You know what I'm saying? But when I moved to LA, they Don't moved back to the state this. of Florida. And now, they were going to get their own place in Houston. So, feeling kind of like a proud big brother, because they are a few years younger than me, I wanted to go and see the new spot. So, I booked my ticket made my way to H-Town. So I get to their crib, right? They show me around, and I was quite Oh, impressed. yeah, Memphis is cool. We it's cool. catching up and making TikToks. Now, of course... I wouldn't go there ever again, but... Up, that was gonna be they got some clout. So that, you know, Memphis got some clout. For the boy. As it drew closer to Old nighttime, Philly do got some clout. Like it's go time. So Pennsylvania, I though, as a whole. Her know that I was gonna I be free for the night. I and then she said, come through, it's a go. I get it. Like I... Now I'm at her house. Or rather, now I'm at her apartment. Uh, I took an Uber, of course. And I could see... Jesus Christ. That shorty was living pretty nice, you know what I mean? This was a pretty big high rise. It was looking clean. No, I was like, okay. All right, let's see what's inside. Then I see this petite little brown thing walk oh, out to the shit. front. She was wearing Show a black, long sleeve crop top with these oh, short shit. I'm getting my surgery. He had long, flowing black hair. Makeup was all done up. And then I was like, Duh. thank God, Jesus. Because you, ne you never know. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. I mean, we had FaceTimed a couple times before I showed up. But until Josh, you meet what mean Josh? Person, you don't know what she's going to look like, bro. So she comes out, introduces herself, gives me a hug, and then leads me up to her apartment. So... We get to her oh, spot, shit. she pours a couple drinks, and we just get to talking, you know? Turns out she was in university, she was Little about to her final year in law school, grew up in Texas, dad was Korean, mom was Mexican. It's a cartoon, hey, vibe, chill. Yeah. That's right. I put my mind in a, you know what I'm saying? Broke up with her ex a little less than a year ago. Said he was boring. That's tough. Shame. So we turn on some Netflix, and then- That's went, tough. Chat, y'all been broken up with cause y'all was boring before? That's not that's mean as fuck. <laughs> hey, I mean you probably have and you just didn't know that she just gave you a fucking excuse. That's so why you you just gotta break up with them before they can break up with you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Never? Yeah, that's what you think, nigga. Ever had a girl? Right oh yeah, I can tell. I was gone to up on YouTube against other YouTubers, but it's oh, I was feeling a little hungry. So then she's like, "Uh, I have some pasta I made earlier. I could heat it up for you." I was like, "Eh, I'm not really feeling like pasta right now." So then she's like, "Do you like sushi?" Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Shorty says she' about to blow the bag on dinner. That's what I'm talking about. She orders up the food on Postmates. We get a refill on the mimosas. We cut on the movie. Oh shit. Great night. Again. Yes, sir. Shotty, I know how this is supposed to go. Yeah. Been down this road before. Yeah. You don't gotta say it to my face. Chat thing about this right now. You know what I'm saying? This is goals, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never been laid up with a bitch watching Netflix and vibes like these, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're lonely. You know what I'm saying? You're lonely. She won't ever text you back on some shit. She don't like you for real. She thinks you ugly as shit. You know what I'm saying? Shawty, I know Your last bitch cheated on you. You don't trust no hoes, bruh. And it won't even give you a chance. Bad combo. You've never had a bitch in your life. You're 23, by the way. 22, That's 21. You're in college. Now it's about two o'clock in the morning. We're both fast asleep in bed. It was quiet.
quiet, dark, and the only lights were coming from the skyscrapers in the distance in downtown Houston. <laughs> when suddenly, I'm awoken by a strange feeling. Oh yeah, he beat the Doonies down. What the fuck? I just realized, he, yeah, he done beat the Doonies down. Grumbles wasn't a good sign. First, I tried to go back. I had never met a bitch. Like, have you ever? Yeah, have you, you ever had like one night? Healthy shoulder. I don't want to hear it. What are you talking about? My shoulder was healthy literally three months ago and every time before that and it's gonna be healthy by October, you bum bitch, ugly, stupid motherfucker. Hoping I could sleep off whatever this feeling was, but the grumbles only got I wasn't on that time, man. I realized that I was gonna have to like, that shit was just so that, 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 that wasn't like slid my arm that didn't appear to me. Body. I sit up and then I tiptoe my way to the back. I don't know what now, the fuck I that bitch got going on. The way my stomach was and I don't, I, I don't this fuck with no condom, so bad. hell no, I, I wasn't doing that shit. Because her apartment, although it was nice, was rather small. In fact, her bathroom door led right into her bedroom. Pretty much, she was so close to the toilet. <laughs> were not for this separate yeah. wall between us. You know what I used to do, bro? I remember, I remember, uh, bro, when I was dating bitches, bro, and like I was at their crib and I had to shit, bro. And, like, chat, you gotta understand when I shit, bro. I don't have regular shits all the time. You know how sometimes the shit's just clean and quiet, it just comes out, bro. I don't know what's gonna come out sometimes, especially if I've been holding it in for a while. So sometimes I just go <laughs> some shit, right? Right, my bowels be moving, bro. I have, I have crazy bowels, right? So what I would do, I'd flush the toilet, turn the fucking sink water on at the same time, so there's hella noise, and try to let go. So it like masks within it, and play like a video off my phone, bro. Ugh. I would have That's a strap, bro. Reach out and touch her. While you got the bathroom fan <laughs> thing on the there. Mm. Reactor hit critical mass. There was nothing I could do. But this bathroom was about to be done, so I reach over. Kyari, oh no, no, I, I wasn't carrying shit. Like off the rip, when I had the shit, I had the shit right there. I didn't, I didn't hide that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But with my other bitches, bro, my other exes and shit, nah, I could, bro. I wasn't comfortable. I don't know, bro. The the, the, the it wasn't there, bro. It wasn't? I don't, I don't even know why, bro. Turn on the shower. Oh, oh you turned the shower. Oh, Here's the shower. I reach over, turn on the shower. Ah! I turn on the shower and I just start praying to God that this girl does not smell what I got cooking, bro. It was. I agonizing. got another wig. What one, the fuck? I couldn't make any noise, like verbally, you know. And this was one of those dig your heels in and just. Wanna try? I could be. I got another way. I could be your Jennifer. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. One to get through it kind of dumps, bro. Two, I had to flush in between rounds to minimize yep. the smell. Yeah. I run the risk of waking yep. her up yep. and letting yep. her on to the w fact strap. that I'm in the middle of desecrating her toilet in the most egregious of ways, my G. And look. You should be able to take a dump with your girl in the next room. But this is not a good look for the first night, bro. Yeah. Now she's gonna wonder if I'm gonna crawl back into bed with mud butt. Finally, <laughs> it was over. The <laughs> mud butt. And as soon as I was able, I gathered myself. Bro, I know this nigga take mean shits, bro. He just look like he take mean ass doodles, like your boy yours truly. As a matter of fact, speaking of doodles. You know what I'm saying? And climbed into the shower to wash away the filth. I get out of the shower, put on some fresh boxers. Pro tip, always carry a second pair of clean undies when you're going over a girl's house. I've never done that. quietly crawl back under the covers. Moral of the story, if you're about to have a date night with a girl, and it's the first time, you can choose between eating sushi, homemade pasta, Go with the pasta, bro. <laughs> so she makes you shit, bro. Shotty, I know how this is.